welcome. This is Lisa from Pine Notes, and I am a beginner crocheter. And it makes sense when I tell you what my June FOs are, or finished objects, when I say a lot of these were first time runs for me to crochet. We're going to start with the Bernay sock. June 13th, you saw me finish these lovely socks, and I couldn't be more thrilled to death with them. The second item I finished was the Somerset shawl for my mother, and it's made out of shawl in the ball. And the color is Healing Teal. If you didn't get a chance to watch my video, I love this book, <laughs> Secret Garden Embroidery, please do. The hanky I embroidered the pattern came from it and the last you saw me you were waiting for me to embroider the lily of the valley now I will tell you I tried to do the lily of the valley in taupe and you know it just didn't look right I uh... I didn't like the way the yarn was laying on top it needed to be much finer and much thinner so I decided to take out all the stitching on this very long row right here and luckily it all came out okay and I'm calling it done so that is another June FO and if you get a chance please watch this video the author herself stopped by and said my review gave her a smile and you can't imagine how extremely thrilled I was by her just making that simple gesture. And you're looking at another first for me. Yes, that is my first rag rug. Uh, I, back in April, I think, I started making the yarn for this, the t-shirt yarn. And it is finished, and I have entered it in the random drawing by Erin Havelson and I will link that YouTube channel below the contest is open and it is a random drawing so it doesn't matter if it's your first rag rug go ahead and enter it and try it this was so incredibly easy and fast to work up I'm very pleased and that was my fourth and final June FO and next we're going to talk about whips works in progress so stay tuned my July whips or works in progress as you know I am working on a sock and it is just gorgeous. I'm absolutely in love with this material. Although the Bernay sock yarn was a fantastic and wild colorway of the rainbow, I'm in love with this Victorian. It's very soft, very wooly. And again, it's a, it's a fall project, so I'm not in a real hurry. And yes, it does look a bit smaller, I will say, because I'm using the proper size hook according to the pattern. Last time, for the Bernay sock yarn, I used the hook recommended by the yarn. So for the pattern, I am using the correct hook for this. So it is a bit smaller, a bit tighter, and you can't see through it at all. It's a wonderful knit. My next work in progress for July is yes, I'm still working on the business cards. You may recognize this yarn as the Bernay sock yarn. So I am still going to use my leftover yarn and weave it through the ends. I don't know if I'm just going to do one end or or whatnot and handwrite. Uh, last year I ended up just 
hole punching some computer uh, business cards and I think this will just look a lot more professional for my gifts. Let's see, what else do we have here? Hmm, do we see a new item on the table? Yes, we do. I'm not sure how this colorway is coming up in the camera, but it is called Mauve, Mindful Mauve, and it sure looks a lot more lavender, heather, uh, gorgeous, gorgeous purple colors than it does in the camera. And this is the month of frogs for me. I had started this and I'm going to insert pictures right here. I had started this and had to frog it back all the way to the third row. I'm a beginner. I know that and I have to count each and every stitch. It's just a good checkpoint for yourself. Make sure you don't have to frog back. And we all know shawl in a ball. This tends to stick to itself so it was a nice peaceful unraveling of my work this morning with a cup of tea. And uh, this is going to be a shawl with fringe when I'm done. I'm going to use two balls and I think it's perfect for fall. And you also know about the Clement Cannon Poncho. I had posed a question earlier this week, what do you do with your knots? So I might have to frog some of this. And I also need to clean up my edges before I'm going any further for the month of July. I'm usually much, much better at this. Uh, every single row needs to be woven in. And I will do that before I continue on with this. And uh, it's, it's coming along nicely. I am thrilled with the colorway. I think it's gorgeous colorway. And uh, yeah, so that's another works in progress for July. And don't know if you recognize this. I'm going to lift up just a tiny bit so you can see. I'm going to insert a picture of where I was last month. my cable sweater and I think I gained about two inches on this. It's a very very heavy piece. It's a hundred percent acrylic and I did do, this is my own crochet pattern for the cable stitch and I did do a video of a software program for uh, making your patterns and keeping record of because uh, with the hot 90 degree days. I did not want to pick this up. I worked on it the first of June and that's about it. But I'm happy. I got two inches in. I don't have too much more to go before I work on the back. That's it for my whips. For my crochet projects. Be back in a moment with more. Welcome to my new segment here at Pine Notes. And it's going to be called embroidery. Yes, I have only been cross stitching for one and a half years this past June. However, I've been doing embroider and cross stitch work probably since the age of seven. On and off through the years, I've been making different crafts, mainly at Christmas time, I will tell you that, for gifts and whatnot. And of course, my mother's love of crochet handkerchiefs has spurred on that again. And when I received these books from my father, that also brought back the love of handwork and stitch. And I am just showing you a couple of things I will be working on this July. These are embroidery whips. And of course, the first one you should know would be the honeybee in the middle here. Um, I had already pegged to do this. <laughs> um, so this should come as no surprise to anyone who's who's watched that video that the honeybee will be one of the first items that I do in the crochet project. 
and I picked out my threads here. Now I did a video, I've mentioned this before, on where I get the Victorian handkerchiefs and my yarn, so please check that out. And then speaking of yarns, they come in a plastic case that leaves them rolling around quite unconventionally. And this came into my life yesterday and it used to hold eggs. <laughs> and it happens to fit the little balls of my cotton floss for the crochet edges real swell. This is the color that I did not like on my handkerchief earlier. It was just too taupey for me and I decided just to call it done. This is the striping on the leaves and um, yeah, I thought that was pretty neat. It prevents them from rolling around, keeps them nice and safe, and typically I don't buy eggs at the drugstore. It just happened to be a quick item we needed. I save it for my big grocery shopping trips, but I'm definitely going to go back for at least one more of these. And then here is one of the handkerchiefs. My mom's birthday is in July and her favorite flower is roses. And what I'm going to do is embroider her initials on here, very small, possibly the year and date, and a little insect like a ladybug or um, I also saw a little bird. So we'll see what I come up with. but. Instead of doing the lace crochet edge and then the embroidery work, I'm going to do the embroidery work first. And this has such a nice finished edge that I'll be able to add a blanket stitch and then make the crochet edging for there. So there we go, a new segment called Embroidery. That is my whips or works in progress for the embroidery section. But stay tuned, I have more. should babies have all the fun? I'm going to use this super soft scrumptious yarn to make a hat. So that is another new topic for Pine Notes and as always I hope everybody this July has a healthy, safe, and wonderful long weekend and we've got a lot of new stuff coming up in July. I hope you join me and go ahead and try something new for yourself this July. Take care and as always, make it a great day and crochet, embroider, and loom knit. Take care everybody. This is Lisa from Pine Notes. Goodbye. Drug Mart extra large Amish eggs. Hmm, let's look inside. Those aren't eggs. It now holds crochet thread. Hmm, omelette sounding real good now too.